So welcome to 2022 question A2. It's a conics question. So the image below shows a parabolic curve or parabolic bridge at Maison Hayden Cork. So here's our parabola. The drawing below um, shows axis AA1, so that's our axis, our focus, and two points P and Q on a similar parabola. So straight away when we're on a conics question, if we hear parabola, we know that P F over P D is equal to one over one. Okay? So they're in proportion to each other. Locate the directrix, vertex, and draw a portion of the parabola passing through uh, P and Q. So they tend to kind of tell us the order in which we need to find things. So first off we need to find the directrix. We know from the point to the focus, so from a point here to the focus, um, and a point to the directrix, so the distance from this P to the directrix, which will be perpendicular to our axis, is the same as the distance as P to F. So if we get step this distance out towards our out this direction, our axis will be perpendicular, or our directrix will be perpendicular to our axis. So Compass set it to PF. And swing there like so. Alright, and now we need to go perpendicular to our axis. Our axis here is vertical, so I can draw a line here, tangential to that, and that's our T. D. Now you could also, if you wanted, get the distance from Q to F and swing it out and it will touch the directrix perfectly as well. Okay, That's if they hadn't given you the axis. So, um, now we've got our directrix found, we want to find our vertex. Okay, A couple of ways we can do that, PF over PD, so their vertex is a point on the curve, so the distance from F to P will be the same as F or P to D. So we could bisect that, but we know because it's a parabola, our line of eccentricity is going to be at 45 degrees. So 45 degrees coming out here, 45 degrees. And to find our vertex, we know. If we go 45 degrees onto that line and drop it down or across to our axis, that will find our vertex. So two methods there finding the vertex. Now we want to find the portion of the curve. So we always do a point inside um, our V and F, right? But before that, I'm just going to draw my lattice rectum. Okay, so anywhere inside there. Approximately a halfway, I'd like to do. I'm going to draw an ordinate. Okay, I'll draw an ordinate for P. And I'll find a point here somewhere between Q and that point, so about halfway should do. That's another ordinate. Okay, I'm just going to highlight a few key lines here. So this is my lattice rectum. Okay, and that's another key line. So every one of these um, lines, as they hit, or ordinates, as they hit the line of eccentricity, I need to draw towards the lattice rectum. So Okay, now from F, I'm going to swing that distance where it hits the lattice rectum back onto the ordinate. And I need it on the opposite side as well, so while I have it, swing that. And over to the next distance where it hits the lattice rectum, swing it down onto my side, 
and that should give me point P there as well. It does. And then there, swing an arc down, that gives me another point. And just after remembering that this is also a point in the curve, so on my lattice rectum there from F, I'll transfer that over. So now I can draw my curve. So V here. Alright, and this is another point, another point, another point onto Q. So Okay, so that's a portion of my curve drawn. So part A completed there. Draw a tangent to the curve at point Q. So I like to use the method that is common to all um, conics, right? So it works for parabola, hyperbola, or an ellipse. So I join P or sorry, F back to the point that or the point of contact. So join that back, actually highlight this construction. Okay, I'm going to go at 90 degrees to that line until I hit the directrix. 90 degrees to QF until I hit the directrix. I think that moves, I'll just double check. No, okay. And where it hits the directrix, I'm going to join that back to Q. So that there is a tangent at point Q. So that was a nice handy one, very similar to previous years.